Hi, this is Nita Pringle, greeting you from my backyard in Wilmington, Delaware. This is the week I had planned to go to Michigan and be escaping from all the commotion of the world and hiding out in that lovely, beautiful place. It is indeed a good place to escape. But I remember that, and I look at the world and I see, so that I almost hate to turn on the television or pick up the paper. We have the virus, we have hurricanes, we have other health problems. We have cries for justice and a deep need for leadership. When I feel sorry for myself and our country on that, I remember we're not the first to go through it. And I turn to Jeremiah. The prophet Jeremiah lived in, ba in Jerusalem at a time when the Babylonian Empire was on the march and they were besieging the city. Jeremiah knew it would fall and he looked at his city and there were people not only going without food, but in those days when sanitation wasn't too good, you can imagine the amount of disease that ran rampant through besieged cities. And he looked for national leadership and it wasn't there. And he cries out, they have treated the wound of my people lightly, saying, oh, peace, peace, when there is no peace. At that point, I also turned to a well-loved old hymn. It's an evening hymn, but I think it deserves to come into the light of day. Abide with me. Fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh abide with me. But you know, when God comes to abide, it's not to let us go to sleep. When God comes to abide, it means that we have to get busy and wake up and face what's in front of us. And so it is with that confidence that even in the darkness, even in the hard times, perhaps even especially in the hard times. God is there to develop a peace that lasts and is forever. The world belongs to God, the earth and all its people. How good and lovely it is when to live together in unity. Love and faith come together and justice and peace join hands. If the Lord's disciples keep silent, the stones would shout aloud. God, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let us pray. O Christ of the road of the wounded, O Christ of the tears of the broken, in me and with me the needs of the world, grant me my prayers of loving and hoping, grant me my prayers of yearning and healing. 